My name is Molek Green. I am from Washington, D.C. I went to school at Howard University and graduated uh, with a degree in broadcast journalism. Being a television news reporter, it's a male-dominated uh, industry. So trying to find my way was a challenge. My grandmother wasn't able to go to college, and my mother wasn't able to go to college. And so I was determined that I was going to succeed for them as well as for myself. They weren't able to do some of the things that I was able to do. And I got my first job in Meridian, Mississippi. That was crazy to my family. Like, do they have paved roads? What about racism? And I, I said, I have to do this. My world was largely African-American and inner city. And this world of broadcast television is a white man's world. He hired, he fired, and women are told what to look like, what to wear, and how to talk. When I first started out in the business, Molette Pendleton um, was my name. My boss, who was a white man, a nice guy, but not really experienced around African Americans. But he was the news director and he wanted to change my name because it sounded too ethnic. So he wanted to change my name to Molly. Molly Pendleton would have been my name. So I would have said, good evening everyone, welcome to the news. I'm Molly Pendleton. I said, oh my goodness, I really want to be in this business. And my boss is asking me to change my name. He's even calling me Molly Pendleton in the newsroom. And so I had to take a stand. At that time, the only Molly that I knew was Molly Ringwald from the movies, the redheaded, freckled-faced, cute lady uh, who was in those funny teeny bopper movies. I said, if you're going to have me on the air, whether it's too ethnic, too hard, too harsh, you gotta accept me as I am. I am Molette Pendleton. I want our uh, young boys and young girls to see that the world is bigger than their little space. You have got to take risks in life. If you do not take a risk, if you do not uh, reach for your dreams, you will regret it in the end, and you will never be able to give your family, your community, and the world the best that you are. What I'm seeing today with this generation is this sense of entitlement. Well, I love the idea of feeling that you are worth more than what society may tell you. You just know it. That's great. But I think that we also need to be realistic. You're going to have to put in the work. Makers, 